the energy sector has to be resilient enough. And that is putting a lot of pressure into the energy system due to this climate change and its impact. The, the deployment of the renewable energy is becoming more and more imminent, so we can minimize these challenges and the impact associated with the climate. We are having a big commitment for the transitioning towards the renewable energy side and, and the green fuels. All of that should uh, result uh, in both effective power and water that we are providing to the entire uh, community. Aquapower started off as a local entrepreneurial endeavor in Saudi Arabia in 2004 and has since expanded to become a global beacon of transformation for so many communities by providing affordable and reliable power and water. Saudi Vision 2030 prioritizes renewables, water desalination and green fuels. As the largest exporter of low carbon expertise, we are a powerful partner and an industry innovator. Our approach to technology, energy efficiency, public-private partnerships, and pace of growth demonstrates to the world what it takes to deliver reliable and affordable access to energy and water and make an impact everywhere we operate. In this changing world, um, more towards a low-carbon economy and more climate action, the majority of the companies uh, globally are actually working to mitigate the risk and manage their um, a footprint. Aquapower is working on the solution side, uh, providing value through um, helping to go through this low carbon, new low carbon economy realism. We are a major force towards a just transition in this uh, global transition towards low carbon economy or uh, more climate action. Innovation is inherent in all elements of the business model. Every project is based on innovative thinking and quite strong optimization to really get the best out of what technologies but also project structures are able to deliver. Before an idea becomes like extremely impactful, you need to be able to apply it more than once. And so scalability is important. Solar and wind are at the forefront of the renewable energy. This is the technology which is actually galvanizing the whole transition, energy transition all across the globe. These technologies are evolving and they have evolved over the last 20 years. And now what we are enjoying is the much more efficient uh, more uh, reliable uh, set of manufactured turbines, wind turbines and solar, which is helping us to move quicker, faster and more affordable uh, supply of electricity. We are partnering with the best uh, available uh, you know, manufacturers who are uh, continuously improving uh, the, the uh, technology uh, which we are using in terms of wind. The wind turbines are um, you know, much, much, much efficient right now um, what compared to what 10 years ago. The, the battery storage, which is a very important project for us, by adding battery storage, we are providing huge amount of stability uh, in terms of the grid operation, as well as the security that in case there is some uh, disruption on the transmission line, we, we do have a backup where the energy supplies are not disrupted. The first plant that Aquapower started back in 2004, at that time, it was the most mature technology in the industry. It's a co-gen between power and thermal desalination. Since we go into the market, Aquapower has reduced the power consumption going to final product water by 80%. In Saudi Arabia and in Bahrain, we represent 30% of the water supply to the grid. Uh, both United Arab Emirates and Oman, we represent 20% of the water supply to the grid. All the water uh, coming out of uh, aqua desalination plants is a drinkable water. It's even better than the bottled water. Rather free, having a, a capacity of 600,000 meter cube uh, per day. It was recognized by Guinness as the world's largest RO plant in operation. Green Hydrogen, and specifically this project, Neon Green Hydrogen project, combine everything that we 
know how to do. Everything that the world know on how to improve this, this uh, energy innovation, we are converting this energy resource in a new, new energy vector that cannot be only used as direct power, but can also be used as molecular commodity, decarbonizing the logistic and the industry sectors, what really matters and what, why is that important this specific project is that all together aqua power air products and neo following the vision of Saudi Arabia has been able to walk a path that never existed. We are not longer uh, focused on generating more power but in using better the power that we produce by optimizing what is the generation of the molecules of hydrogen and further the green ammonia. We have created a, a friendship with all the developers, all the financial institutions to really change this world. The commitments that we need to have towards having a sustainable future is not a task of one single nation. All the nations need to work together to create a common environment, common and regulations to face the same problems and find the same solutions. Aquapower is stepping into its next uh, stage of evolution, which is expanding beyond the current portfolio. Aquapower aims to basically increase its portfolio size by three folds in the medium term. Given Aquapower's expansion requirements, we have to approach capital markets. We have to approach alternate investment solutions. By building this ecosystem around our existing relationships, we are looking towards leveraging the existing relationship and transforming it to the next level. And we will be looking towards investing more towards sustainable and green uh, projects. And we are engaged with the lending community as of now to decipher and to develop new solutions which can be more appropriately be applied on green projects. Also, we are creating values to the communities because we are upskilling and cross-skilling either the new generation or even the current generation, uh, working generation, to work in the future fields like uh, renewable energy, green hydrogen, and all these new skills that the, 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 the world really needs going forward. And to do that, we need to work closely with the communities, either to develop their young generation through our uh, uh, institutes. We have uh, a great institute in Saudi Arabia to develop young Saudi talent. And also, we are doing the same in Uzbekistan with Shirin College to develop their uh, young uh, talents. And we are doing a lot of community uh, interventions in Morocco around our assets to make sure that the, the, the host communities are actually getting more value of our existence than um, just the, 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 the energy or the, or the water. We are in this company more than anywhere else having an impact going beyond the frontiers of what has already been done. Look at the kind of projects we do, the size of projects we endeavor, but also the technological advances we bring into the projects. We're really, in a way, changing the world. That is making an impact, that is having an impact.